So we're discussing the Doppler effect. Let's look at the scenario where the source is stationary and the observer is moving relative to the source. So before we start, let's uh, clarify some notation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the speed of sound by V. Speed of sound. So V is going to be the speed of sound. V sub S is going to be the speed of the source. And V sub O is going to be the speed of the observer. So remember this notation because V sub S is not going to be, you know, it can be a bit confusing. Um, V sub S is going to be the speed of source. So whenever you see a V without any subscript, that's going to be the speed of sound. Okay. Now, now the source is not moving in this case. So, so let's say this is the source. The source is not moving. So V sub S is zero. So this is the source of sound. So it's emitting sound waves. And um, so I'm going to represent these sound waves far away from the source as straight lines. So far away from the source, they're essentially parallel to each other, right? Um, and, and these, so these sound waves, right, are moving out with the speed V, right? So the, this is the speed of uh, the sound in the medium, right? Now let's say that the listener is over here. Now, the listener or the observer is moving towards the source. So this is the speed of the observer. Now, now let's think about it. The, as the observer is moving towards the source, we can see that, um, so now we, we want to derive an equation for the frequency of the sound that the observer is listening to, right? So remember that the frequency is speed divided by wavelength. Now the observer will experience a change in the frequency when either the speed, the relative speed or velocity changes and um, and the wavelength or, or the wavelength changes or both change, right? So in this case, you can see that the observer uh, is gonna see the the speed right the relative speed of the observer is going to change it's going to be v plus v naught right but the wavelength so so the wavelength is this right the wavelength is the distance between two crests right the wavelength is going to be the same because the observer has to sweep through the same distance right it has to go from this crest to this crest so it's going to be the same distance that the observer has to sweep through uh, but the relative velocity uh, of uh, the observer uh, to the uh, relative to the sound wave is going to change, right? So in other words, let's just write the equation now. So so the speed, the relative uh, speed changes, and the wavelength stays the same. So v plus v naught. Again, these two these two velocities are adding up, divided by lambda. Now the um, if the observer is moving away from the source, then you get a negative sign here because the relative velocity will decrease then, right? And if you remember that lambda, so lambda is lambda is the wavelength of the sound wave, right? So it's gonna be V over F. So lambda is V divided by F. Let's plug that in over here. So so you get V plus minus V sub O divided by V over F, right? So the F multiplies with the numerator. So you get V plus minus V sub O times F divided by V, right? So this is your modified frequency, right? So this is your F plus minus F. Um, that we were talking about the, the the change in the frequency, the modified frequency. Remember the negative sign is observer is moving away. So 
so so again the main the important thing that's going on over here is that the relative velocity is changing and that be, due to that the frequency is uh, that the observer listens to is changing okay so this was the first case we'll discuss uh, the other case in the next video in which the source is uh, moving uh, and the observer is stationary so thanks for watching if you have any questions post them in the comments uh,